where all your businesses are struggling in Lagos, struggling here and there, they are struggling there too. As your businesses are recording successes, they are making progresses, making more investment, they are making same there too. There is actually life outside Lagos than for you to hate yourself so much that you then have to project that hatred on others and think they actually hate you. When the people that want you to hate others, the, Igbo, the Igbos that want you to hate Yorubas, the Yorubas that want you to hate the Igbos, right? When you start looking at the characters that are actually promoting this, you realize that if they are your people, if they are Igbos, they hate you more than they hate the Yorubas they want you to hate. When you see the Yorubas eh, who are asking you to hate on the Igbos, right? Pay attention very well. Those who are asking you to they hate Yorubas more than they hate the Igbos they want you to hate. But it works well in an hateful country where people were forced together. Suspicious country where we don't trust ourselves. Politicians milk this. So once in a while, when everybody has a chance of showing us, I always love it. I do. And that's one of them. Okay? Remove these politicians from the lives of the people and see if their lives won't actually be far, far better than what you have right now. And that was Enugu. In Ondo State, it's not, it's not the same. The EFCC in Nigeria broke into a nightclub. They were looking for Yahoo boys. But guess what? After arresting everybody inside that place, inside the nightclub, they separated men from women. Now, they now took the women into a room and they started lashing them, those ones who couldn't let them to, uh, to molest them, assault them, or even rape them. Baba, I can't show you the video. It's online. Go and type it online. AKT, EFCC, raid. I'm sorry, Ondo, Akure, rather, Akure, EFCC, raid. EFCC is the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission set up specifically to fight economic and financial crimes, mostly perpetuated by the criminals running or ruining Nigeria. But they usually just go for the soft targets. And in the process, everybody is uh, a suspect whenever the EFCC, NDLEA, uh, what else, DSS, Whenever they are conducting their raid, but they took all the girls, I mean, all the ladies into a room. They lashed them, they whipped them. Baba, people recorded the bomb bomb, red, lined with all these stripes, bloody stripes, ESCC. Borders, eh? You will think they will have drawbacks. I'm gonna show you inside the inside the nightclub. Yeah. Done. I've mixed that. <laughs> Yeah, that's a on the state capital. That's Nigeria. You may be, see, you may return from uh, that your base in America. And then you are just sleeping and then uh, chilling in your own hotel room in Lagos. And in the middle of the night, yourself, your partner, eh? you could get busted. And in the middle of the night, there could be a drop or a break through the door. Bah, bah, bah. 
You are a Yahoo boy. They will parade you. Yes. That's the state of Nigeria. They are fighting corruption. So this guy said, one of the guys they arrested is not a Yahoo boy. The money rich you ain't do. They said the guy, well, it's funny, it's not funny, but he's asking the EFCC to release him. This is not right. Brother EFCC, I didn't congeal it to one boy. I think back one while. You know the phone, I look at him at the gym, at that part of the all the way from other states, yet you want those states to be a boy, 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 in the area. So when are they going to release him? Because he's not a Yahoo boy. He used his manhood for money ritual. And when the money came, he decided to go and drink one bottle at the uh, club, the night club. That was when the EFCC came. They need to let him go. That's what he's saying there. It's funny. It's not funny, isn't it? Meanwhile, somewhere in the uh, Quara states, they said they have, uh, they caught, I mean, they caught some Fulani uh, terrorists. And they were those kind of blamed for the insecurity, the kidnappings, and the attacks on the farmers in that axis of uh, Guara states. Let me show you that video. Then they actually like uh, blindfolded them. That's creepy. Uh, summer, hang on. I think I lost, uh, okay, I didn't. I I Enter one by one. Enter one by one. Wait, wait, wait. Enter one by one. Hey, Tashi, Tashi. Enter, enter, enter. 
Unfortunately, they will be released. They will be freed. The moment they hand them over to the Nigeria police, that's the end of it. And let's say maybe a week or two, eh, they will be back to the same area to make the matter worse. Some of the people who arrested them there, who, who actually rounded them up, some of them will come across the same guys in another one month or two. This is the state of Nigeria. And that's why I, I kind of understand what you meant. Uh, somebody said, uh, this is what they hate about our people. I get you. What is the point in parading them when they are going to be released later? How about they are like, uh, you know, because of the gunfire exchanges and all of that, unfortunately, we lost uh, we lost uh, 15 uh, terrorists. How about that? So that is to tell all of you that even those who are telling us that they are gathering, I mean, they are uh, there to protect us. They do not have the right to shoot and kill any of these terrorists. Because if they did, they will be arrested for killing the terrorists and they will be charged for murder. It's like an unwritten code. They all know it. So the most they can do, that's what you saw there. And even at that, the video, when it makes it to the, to the uh, screen of their leaders, the terrorist uh, leaders, I'm talking about the ones who are in government, so the ones who are making all these decisions. So they may even ask for everybody in that video. I'm talking about those who arrested those guys, eh? those terrorists. They may ask the Nigerian DSS police to go and look for all of those guys and arrest them and bring them to Abuja. What gave them that right to treat the Fulani like that? That's how horrible Nigeria has become. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not. That's why when these things happen, some of us here are not really surprised. We say, well, about OPC, the people of uh, Egogon, the people of uh, Ibarakpa, they cried out. And you know something? OPC members, they moved down to the area. And in the airport, right, one or, one or two of them were shot by the Fulani terrorists. But they finally arrested their leader, arrested his sons. So by the time they took them to Agodi in Ibadan, eh, you know something? They took uh, the, the terrorist uh, leader, the kidnapper leader that uh, the OPC arrested. They put him in prison. You see the OPC guys that risked their lives and even got shot including those that were shot, they locked them up in Agodi. They said, who gave them the right to go and arrest? By law, they did not have any right to go and arrest. Guess what? Those people were inside Agodi prison for more than one year for going there to go after the terrorists. That is Nigeria for you. I don't even know if they have been released or they've just been forgotten inside the prison there. Yeah. They lock them up. How dare you go on? And then we started hearing the rumor that uh, that guy has been released, even though he hasn't, he's still with them. But why would you even lock up those who risk their lives to go and bring succor to the people, the commuters, the communities in those areas? It is what Nigeria is. So if you want to fight for them, good luck to you. Anybody who not ready to fight for himself, eh? Well, good luck to you too. Because if you are willing to, to fight for them, for some reason, you know, it's probably going to be one of the worst uh, thing to, worst, I mean, sorry, worst thing to, to do to yourself. Don't fight for them. Because you end up eh, being the one responsible for all of their problems. They will tell you who sent you. So you might need to protect yourself while you are fighting for Nigerians. Why would you do that? So the least you can do is to possibly help ourselves to understand why we all need to stand up and fight.
And if you cannot stand up, maybe because you are disabled. But Baba, you are not disabled. You are looking for human rights fighter. Other one share me. You should never, you never fight for anybody in that contraption. They would have to. Except for those who are really vulnerable, you know, those who have no voice of theirs, then you speak out and speak up for them. That's understandable. Nobody is fighting for anybody. You would have to fight for yourself. Now let's take a little bit of uh, you know, roll back. Uh Okena, thank God, thank you uh for that. So let's roll it back a bit. Same thing as well yesterday. Paul was uh, in Abuja, where he named a road after Achebe. Then he kind of managed to remind everyone that uh, Wede Wike is the, is the best political appointee of East. And he was, in fact, told not to appoint him for the second time in, excuse me, second time in a week. Paul Lu said they told him not to appoint Wede Wike. And where the wiki is now the best performing, where the wiki is rated to, to be performing at 14%. The Vuluma is rated to be performing at 13%. The rest of, I mean, the one that is in charge of passports, that guy. Yeah, the one that his wife collected over 600 million naira. Uh, 600 million naira from uh, Beta Edu to go and set up a register for the poor people before they can then get paid. You remember that guy, Olubumi, Olubumi Ojo. So they rated that one as a nine, at 9%. Nine Ebon, if they rate you 14%, what does that mean? Is that not 14 over 100? If they rate you 9%, nine, 9%, is that not 9 over 100? Well, oh, 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 oh I mean, sorry, uh, can you call off uh, all level? Failure at all level, right? I'll start with that. Then I'll take it to Abuja. All classes. You know what they call F level? Where you get failure in all the subjects that you take. F9. F8. F9. F8. FF. That's cool. Anyway, he's celebrating uh, at least something, and that is said uh, the wiki. Uh, I want you to listen. It is called. Please don't listen to him like you are. You want to listen to anything reasonable, okay? Possibly just you can even go and make a cup of tea if you don't like to see his face, but it can be very crackling somehow, okay? Collaboration and shared commitment to excellence. I also reflect when we started and the minister came to me to please look at the possibility of clearing my calendar for nine days. And I asked him to go back and restudy the best way to spend the president's time so that he will not be in violation of the and purposes of governance. Nine days consecutively. He said, yes, that includes a Saturday. Well, we are spending that part of that Saturday here. Asian Wiki. You have provided exceptional leadership at a trying time for the country. It was a very challenging time for us in the country. 
up to now. We are still re returning and rejigging our financial system to bring prosperity and relief to the people of this country. You've demonstrated the capacity to build a team, to lead a team, and to deliver on promises. I commend you. Well done. To all of you here, and the district head of Guzapé or representing the district head. Litigation is not the answer. Conversation is the answer. Development that is focused on the people For the economic prosperity and the benefits of a whole. It's what should reside in us. Of what value is the land? that is blocked by these high yield mountains and rocks that you can what access now provide drinkable water talk to our people and whenever you need us talk to our representatives Bring us together to help build Nigeria. It's not a personal thing. I stand here as the president. I don't have a plot here. But I have the people's support and the mandate to deliver good quality of life and living environment. That should be enough for all of us to share in the joy of commitment, dedication. <laughs> oh, no, stop it, Martinelli. I know that actually cracked me up that I had to stop the video, right? To the Nigeria at the last day. That's how he talks. He kind of just like opened his mouth. I, 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 I. Sometimes you wouldn't even like, you know, you wouldn't even know he's the oppressed idiot, okay? And sometimes he loves to remind himself, like, I am your oppressed idiot. As the oppressed idiot, let us. Come together and build this country to our children uh, of economic prosperity, of good environment, living conditions, uh, of, uh, you know, that's how it talks. Kind of just much, 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 much everything. Sometimes it will sound like, okay, okay, I think I'm getting what he's saying. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, I don't get what he's saying anymore. Okay, I think I'm getting it again now. Okay, okay. Is he trying to say no? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, I don't get that one. What is he saying? About you go just get problem trying to understand what Colu is saying. But he said this all the time because that's what he's told to say. He's never going to talk to you about uh, what he is doing. Okay, other than just to say, oh, we are working, we are doing everything to make sure our country and our people have food hungry starvation and their safety and all of that kind of like jargons 
I'm so sorry that I had to kind of keep punishing you. It seems like a punishment, okay? But I want it to be on this uh, record. I'll stop it soon. Call you. I go see. I notice the 